witchy fam this is tree and we are back with the may the witch's box unboxing reveal and as always the box comes with this beautiful sticker it says magic await when you open the box there's beautiful gold paper with a sticker that says blessed be i have no idea what this box is and i'm so excited so the tarot card that came in this box for me is collaborative dreaming which is really cool because I am diving into some ancestral work and part of my practice is dreaming so the collaboration part makes sense to me a lot okay so this box is called clearing the energy box and I'm just gonna read you a couple pieces from the letter there's a letter that comes with each box that includes the contents of the box and a description of how to use or you know the intention of the box this is clearing the space clearing the energy clearing out negativity all these things are what we turn to when we have had a rough day and need to shift our vibe and cast off anything we might have picked up very important it's what we do when we are about to do ritual or cast a spell or moving into a new home we clear the space to recalibrate, to reset, to clear the palette so that we might set the purest intention for what we want the space or ourselves or an object to be. There are so many ways to do this and this box provides you with several. The bell and the broom. We will go into depth about that in the deep dive gathering. So the deep dive gathering is for people that are subscribed to the witch's box or that have purchased one of the one-off boxes there's a, a gathering online that's live that is hosted by elena she is the founder and owner of the witch's box and she guides you through all of the different aspects of that box and how to use the tools that came in it and so on and so forth very cool just another perk of being subscribed or purchasing a one-off box so back to the bell and the broom so there's the bell and the broom the Witch's Apothecary Incense Blend that is for cleansing the space or yourself from negativity without defaulting to the misappropriation habit of using sage in a manner that resembles smudging. Love that. Love the consciousness there around appropriation. And then she proceeds to say, I love sage. It grows abundantly around the lower edges of the mountain I call home, but there is so much pain around appropriating living spiritual traditions that it inspired me to do this differently for all of us wanting to use smoke, but not wanting to be insensitive towards another culture. Wonderful. Our plant allies offer up so many powers and gifts. There are other blends that are perfect for the intention of cleansing a space with smoke and it stands alone separate from the complex and beautiful practice of smudging that belongs to native peoples. My desire is that this incense blend serve you well in all your sacred work. Love, 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 love. It says if you are buying this box after May 20th, the link to the recorded gathering for the deep dive gathering will have gone out to you in an email that was sent after you purchased your box. So if you purchase before May 20th, then you get to be a part of the deep dive gathering live. And if you purchase the May box after that date of May 20th, then you get a link to the video, which is great. So either way, you still get the information. I love that. So I'm gonna list the contents of the box. You get one sacred bell, one 10 inch altar broom, one copper incense bowl. Ah, I'm so excited about that. Three charcoal discs, one witch's apothecary sacred clearing smoke, one witch's apothecary red well spring water bottle, one witch's apothecary white well spring water bottle, one book of shadows page for brooms, one book of shadows page for bells, a book of shadows page for the Glastonbury wells, so those are the red and the white well water, and an oracle card. So we already saw the oracle card. Let's get into this. Can I just say also, I have been doing these unboxings from the summer of 2018. So not quite nearly a year yet. And I just have to say that these boxes are curated so, so well that every single month I'm just blown away. And sometimes, because I am very, very close friends with Elena, sometimes I do know the gist of what's gonna be in them. Sometimes I know exact items that she's 
procured that she's including in them but they're always and sometimes I don't know anything about them but either way it's always like such a pleasure for me to open them and to see and to just feel how much thought and energy and intention has gone into finding these pieces they just always feel one of a kind and perfect timing wise in my life I just want to say that I love these this box I really do it's just it's a really, really good subscription box, especially if you are a witch or you are tapping into that realm of yourself. Okay, that's enough of my gushing. Let's get into the Book of Shadows pages. So first we have the Glastonbury Well Waters, and this page has both the red and the white spring water on here. So we've got this cool correspondence page and then we have the Sacred Bell, and it goes into the energetics and the uses of a Sacred Bell. The same with the red and white spring waters, it tells you about the uses of it as well. And then we have the witch's broom, and we've got magical uses, and meanings and symbols. So those are the Book of Shadows pages. We got three this month. So the first thing that I am pulling out is the Sacred Clearing Smoke. So this has angelica, bay, frankincense, juniper berries, myrrh, orange, and peppermint. That sounds pretty epic. No, I'm gonna open it. I can already smell it. It's so good, you guys. When things smell good, I just, I just melt. I can't, it's just too much for me. This is jam packed, so I don't even know how to show it to you because it's literally to the rim. This incense is out of this world. I mean, this is something that I would burn every single day. I am obsessed now. It smells like a perfect combination of all of these ingredients. I smell the orange, I smell the myrrh, I smell the frankincense, I smell the peppermints, the juniper berries. It's just all of the things. It's like resiny and grounding and uplifting. Sacred clearing smoke for the win. Beautiful. Second up, I think this is a bell. <laughs> I find it really interesting that I included that intro of just gushing because I have tears in my eyes. This might be one of the coolest boxes of all time. The amazing, amazing smelling incense blend. I love bells and I use them pretty frequently for spell casting, when casting circles, before doing any kind of like meditation work or sadhana practice. And I have a favorite bell, I do, but this one might be replacing that one. You guys, I don't even have words right now. Like where in the actual witch's world was this found? <laughs> Straight up Diagon Alley. What is this? This is the coolest bell ever. Oh, it's a really beautiful sound too, and it feels good. It's heavy. It's like a really good weight. This is dope, you guys. Moving along, we have the copper bowl for burning your incense. Gorgeous, simple. Love that these little legs are on here so that you don't burn whatever surface you set this on. So excited, because I love having fresh apparatuses or bowls or whatever to burn incense in. I'm sure if you burn incenses that require charcoal, you're familiar that sometimes they get kind of like yucky and gross, so it's wonderful, wonderful that this was included because when you are cleansing a space, a new space or yourself or whatever it is, it's so, 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 gorgeous to have something that's just kind of like a clean slate so i'm in love with this it also came with three charcoals so boom i have everything that i need to burn this incense okay things just keep coming you guys this is one of those like solstice morning boxes it's like so many gifts Ooh, that's right the water oh gorgeous okay so this is a red spring well water. Look at this bottle. I love, love, love. So I was so lucky to be a part of Harvesting the Honey, the first coven that the Witch's Box led for the past seven months. And our spells every month came in these bottles. So I've got, if you can see, 
right there. <laughs> I've got six of them. So I love these bottles and seeing just water in here and especially sacred water is just so beautiful. I love using, so I use those spells as kind of boosters in all of my work. Harvesting the honey, another really, really cool thing if you don't know. I think the next one starts this fall. I'm guessing this is the white spring well water. If that was the red one, and here we have the white spring well water. So you can see the difference. I can see the difference. Can you? <laughs> and the last but not least is an adorable, beautiful witch's broom. Look at this thing. It's a broom that fits on your altar. I love the idea of like sweeping. I'll do this like with my hand, you know, like sweeping the energy of a space. And, or if I don't have a bell, I do snapping. That's like another way to like cleanse space as well. But I love this because it's an actual broom. And it also says for protection on the Book of Shadows page for the witch's broom, it says to clear or keep out neg negativity from the home. It can be hung over the doorway or the main hearth of the home, which is so cool. So that's the box. This is the May box. It's beautiful. It is just curated so wonderfully for cleansing. You have literally everything that you could think of in terms of cleansing your space, cleansing yourself, casting a circle and protecting in that manner. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so excited and I am so thrilled to have shared it with you all. I will look forward to the June box and sharing that with you all as well. Until then, blessed be and I'll see you all then. Bye.